state championship baseball game between Mesa Preparatory Academy and Our Lady of Sorrows Academy is over before it even began. As Christine Harrington tells us, the reason the teams are not playing tonight, the second baseman from Mesa Prep is a girl. Christine? Yeah, and Patty, that girl helped Mesa Prep's baseball team go undefeated this season, so the team wasn't about to play in a championship game without her, and as a result, the other team just flat out refused to play at all. Now, I just joined baseball because our school does not offer high school softball, so I decided why not. Paige Schultzbeck not only joined the Mesa Prep boys baseball team, but became its starting second base woman and helped the team win its first ever championship. <laughs> Unfortunately, their win came by forfeit. I don't believe that anyone wants to win by forfeit or lose by forfeit. The Mesa Prep's opponent, Our Lady of Sorrows Academy, refused to play a team with a girl on it. In a statement, they said, as a Catholic church, they promote educating boys and girls separately, especially in physical education, and their school policy rules out participation in co-ed sports. We've got to admire the, the, the stands that they take. It takes tremendous moral courage to stand by what it is you believe and they're doing what it is that they think is right. But the Charter Athletic Association policy is clear. If a girl, if girls are not offered a corresponding sport, that they are allowed to compete on boys teams. The association says it has no intention of changing those rules. Paige admits she did opt to sit out the last two times the team faced off because it was on their field, and I felt the need that I needed to respect their rules. But the championship game was to be played in neutral territory, so Paige wasn't about to miss it and says she won't let this deter her. If we have a high school softball team, I will definitely sign up, but if we do not, then I'm 100% on the boys' baseball team. Now everyone out here at Mesa Prep is obviously proud of this undefeated baseball season, and they're already looking forward to next year. Meantime, the Charter School Athletic Association tells me that they will be reviewing its policies. However, they are confident they are doing the right thing.